Hello, we are Air Rescue from Indonesia, and we are joining RoboCop Asia Pacific 2022 Cost Best Rescue Challenge U19. Before we begin, let me introduce my team. My name is Rohman Aditya as a team leader and strategist, and my teammate is Satyan Bagus Jumantoro as a programmer. We both are finalists at RoboCup Asia Pacific 2022 Cost Space Rescue U19, and we both contributed to EEPIS Flying Robot Research, and we are students of Polytechnic Electronica Degree, Surabaya. Next is Executive Summary of Preliminary Challenge. In this challenge, my team joins RCF Cost Space Rescue Challenge U19, and this challenge we program our robot to gather objects like cyan, red, and black, and deposit to orange area whenever the robot has six loads objects. There is also some obstacle and traps that robot have to avoid. Multiple facilities are used so that the robot can score points as much as possible under the six minutes. First strategy is obstacle avoidance. In this strategy, using the ultrasonic sensor to detect obstacles and control the wheel to avoid obstacles, at like this video. Second strategy is boundaries avoidance. This strategy using the compass and position sensor to avoid boundaries. Third strategy is trap avoidance. This strategy using the color sensor to detect yellow area to avoid traps. Fourth strategy is zone mapping. This strategy using the position sensor to read the map and navigate to the waypoint. This strategy is used to increase chance of gather objects and getting the super gun faster. The result, the robot completes mission with smoothly and efficiently and gains 2,460 points in the preliminary challenge. The conclusion are complete mission using obstacle and multiple algorithm avoidance to avoid the obstacle. Robot successfully gathered and deposit object by using multiple algorithm and strategies. The next thing we want to show is how to navigate a robot waypoint with zone mapping. The first step is to find a unique area. Unique area is an area that contains many objects with the same color. So in order to get super cum faster, we need to find many objects such as cyan, red, or black gathered in some areas. The next step is to get coordinates of the deposit zone. After we find a unique area, we need to get the coordinates of the deposit zone so that the robot can deposit the objects whenever the robot has six loaded objects. The third step is to add waypoint. Waypoint is used to create navigation for the robot to move onto the desired place or zone. This helps the robot to avoid area that contains many obstacles or traps. The final step is to use the dead reckoning navigation. Dead reckoning navigation is a process to calculate track estimation from the determined position and waypoint. This step is used by the robot to move onto the desired waypoint. Dead reckoning uses trigonometry formula where we need to find hypotenuse from the delta position of the robot. Then we can get the degree from the arc plan of x divided by y as the value of the robot drift.
and then applying knowledge gained to the real world. In our life, we can apply zone mapping strategy for turns to observe the activity of the volcano mountain. Thank you.